We got a situation, huh? Whoa. Oh, shoot. What's it at? That's gonna blow up. Uh, <laughs> uh, we need a milestone recording and everything. Exciting news, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Yeah, I'm happy. We have um, some, some uh, tag-alongs, I'm gonna call it, coming with us to Pismo for the weekend of July 12th through the 14th. Yeah. And I feel like everybody should come out and meet them and say hi to us. Um, we have Kelly and Steph from KMS Performance coming all the way from Arizona. <laughs> Um, I'm super stoked that they're going to come out and see Pismo and that they're going to hang out with us and camp with us. And I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. KMS, all the way from Arizona, coming to Pismo. He's going to check out the car, talk about tunes. He's going to have probably some stuff with him. So if you want to come and meet him, talk about tunes, see what's in the box. They just released their tune in a the box. box. Yeah. <laughs> so come and check it out. He tuned our car. So if you watch the videos and you see how awesome our car trip is and how he handles and how much power we got, then you're yeah. going to want to come meet Kelly. We'll, we'll put a link to the videos. Uh, KMS. We'll put a link to the videos where we got a clutch and our ECU tuned. And MTS also, we were out there with MTS, hooked up with shocks. Shocks are awesome. We love them. Can't imagine uh, being without them. Can't okay. either. We have all this power. Now we just need to. And I can't imagine being back to stock with the tune or the shocks. Either. Never going to happen. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Thanks, guys. I love your videos. They're so cool. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. Thank it you. It keeps me going in between trips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Hi, babe. Hello. So we're finally going to finish this project. Well, this is kind of an addition. Oh, you're right. We I did forgot. really finish it. If you look at that video. That one? <laughs> <laughs> we were looking for videos, so it's up there. Oh. Anyway, so we have all this stuff. Check it out. This stuff. Mm. This stuff. This is kind of extra. This is... I'll show you. You're extra. Just kidding. <laughs> what this does is it goes on the end to swivel so that it makes it easier when we connect this to the tire and this pulls it doesn't try to yank it off so hard oh god so that's kind and of exciting for me i hate that yeah. i hate that kind so we have another another one of those to put on the other hose that's like this um, on this right here on this on this hose okay and this is the fun part we have this. This is kind of an experiment. I don't know how this is going to work. I've I've seen uh, on forums online people talking about this. There's one guy said it worked out great for him. What is it? It's a regulator. Oh right, I remember that. So the idea is that we set this to. So, a little bit of background. We go to Pismo. When we go, uh, we air down to 15 pounds so that we we don't get stuck in the sand. And then um, when we get ready to leave, we have to air back up to 65. Makes sense. So basically we go 15, 65, 15, 65, except for on the trailer, I think we ended up. I think it's more like 65, 15, 65. <laughs> so basically when we air up, we go from 15 to 65. When we air down, we go from 65. There you go, that works. Except for on the trailer, about 22. But this guy right here, our goal, um, we have eight tires that we need to air up to 65 pounds. We set up this, we set up this guy. This guy. This uh, manifold, coupling manifold with the little valve on it. Can you oh. see it? I want to, oh, see, that was my favorite part. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you this other Those text messages coming through are all about what's happening in Pismo Beach, he dubs. So, uh, what we do is put air gauge on. Mm hmm we put the hose, two of them, Okay. hook up two tires, and then we can turn the air on, let it air up, turn the air off, check the pressure. Two tires at the same time. They're not airing up twice as fast, but it's just more convenient. You're What's the regulator? It, connecting and right. disconnecting and checking with the pressure, uh, you know, with the... What's it yeah, called? it's you called know, an air gauge, and an all I want to do is like hang out, sitting there where we're at, talking to people, but I'm on the ground, like worried about getting hit by a car. All right, so, and then you asked what this, this guy? Yeah, what is that, the point of that? The point of this is that we can set this to 65 pounds and then ideally just walk away and when it's done, it'll stop airing up. So it could the take question, longer. Yeah, the question I had initially is that it might take longer because it's restricting the air pressure to 65 pounds. I don't know that that's true. I saw someone say, so I, 
saw a guy on, a vi on YouTube do a video where he set one of these up and in the comments, I think that's where it was, in the comments, somebody asked, doesn't it take longer because this restricts the airflow? He said it doesn't. We're going to time it. So I have no reason not to believe him, but what we're going to do is we're going to set this all up. We're going to get this built. We're going to air up the tire and time it on video without the regulator. Then we're going to put the regulator in line, set it 65 and time it again. I'm excited. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Right now we're going to put all this stuff together and get it all set up. You know what? Um, let me just mention this. Your little setup and garage looks pretty nice today. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I like it. All right, so, so here we go. Here we go. All right, so first thing, I'm going to get this part out of the way real quick. Oh, hang on, I got to grab a, a cutty tool. There in the cutty tool drawer. Cutty tool. Open this guy. <laughs> just embrace get, it. Just can't get away from it. Just go this with guy. it. I like it. Throw this in the trash. I'm responsible. You, you did make it. Got a little swivel, which is awesome. Put this in the vise. Let me come over here and see it from this angle. Mm. On the right wrench. These these clamp on. Clamp, clamp. They clamp on, and if you tug on them too hard, they want to pull off. But with the swivel, and the everyone knows how my hands, huh? my hands are dirty, but they are. I'm not real gentle. KMS is coming to Gizmo, so if you want to meet Kelly and Steph and everybody that's amazing and awesome, and you have questions about how he tunes and you want to pick his brain about a bunch of nerdy stuff, come see him. Yep, coming all the way from Arizona. That's right. Come and see what Pismo is all about. Unfortunately, the way things are going, it could mean. Uh, could be the only time he gets to come. Yeah, might not see it again. It's oh, not still, it's, not, it. it's not soaking in, but. Um, but it's real. It's pretty real. It's pretty real. <sighs> so we're gonna test it out here, right? Do a little time test, but. The real test is going to be when we're in Pismo, July 11th through the 14th. Yes, we will be in Pismo July 11th. Is for, that right? Yeah, the Coastal Commission 12th. meeting. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there for the Coastal Commission meeting, but we were already planning to be there the 12th with KMS. Yep. Which we completely didn't discuss. Let's move on to happier things for right now. Let's yeah. talk about tires and air. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So all we can do is continue the fight and hope for the best but in the meantime we will continue on as if there's not a problem today and we will set up our pismo rig because this is really a rig for pismo it is all right so it's getting really complicated it's kind of a complicated rig but if it works and it'll really make things easy um, it's gonna work so basically what we're gonna do we don't need we're not airing up two tires at once today we're airing one so we will put our gauge in here our pressure gauge right. right there we will put one hose this one i just set up we will test first without this and then with that and then with and ideally we should be able to set this regulator with uh the gauge um you know what i love a good video that shows a time test i do and then hopefully we can lock this thing down so it doesn't just uh click all over the place on its own all right, so we're gonna start testing that part out. Here we go. Woohoo. All right, what's next? All right, it's, <laughs> that's Let's, the Pismo rig. There you go. We'll see. It's, uh, I mean, it starts to become a little involved, but if it works, it might be pretty cool. I think it's gonna be funny to pull that out. I mean, worst case scenario, it was kind of fun to do. Yeah. Interesting. And I wanted, I've wanted to know for a long time if a regulator would work to air up your tires. That just, set to the pressure you want yeah so we're gonna try it right now so first we're gonna get a we're gonna get a read on this uh, test tire test tire lay everything right here yeah so we have the this yellow hose is a garage hose now but um the orange one will go with the other orange uh items in the trailer i like this stretchy ones I got this thing all wet last time and it went 
I'm just acting crazy, so we'll see if it works now. Oh my god, why do you keep breaking them? I keep breaking them. That'd be... I'd say that's it's 30, says 32. I won't even tell you how much that one costs. It's probably accurate. Let's find out. Let's hook all this up. All right, so we have everything here. It looks like we have about 30. According to this, we have 32 pounds. We're gonna see what this guy says. Let's mm -hmm. find out right now. Let's hook all this up and just see where we're at, and then we'll go from there. Good plan. This and uh, you know, let's take this regulator out. Oh yeah, we'll do it first without it, right? No, we have no air pressure. Compressor on? Yeah, yeah, this guy's turned it off. Okay. Turn so. it on and let it. So we gotta run the air compressor. We're gonna stop for a minute. We'll come back. Yeah. Here we go. Loud. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make sure this tire is aired up. We got a situation, huh? Whoa. Oh, shoot. What's it at? That's going to blow up. <laughs> uh, we need a mouse to record and everything. So what happened there? Okay, so well, what happened is mm -hmm. the air compressor was empty, right? Right. I hooked all this up. We turned on the air compressor. The valve was open. So it aired this tire up to like 100 and, I don't know, 35 PSI. That's not, that's not um, advisable. No, I, I, I wasn't a fan. But anyway, we put our auto deflator on. So this tire should be about 15. We're gonna oh. take this off and check it. We have a camera going, a couple cameras going, and what we'll do is we will set a timer on the camera and see exactly how long it takes us to get up to uh, 65. I like it. So we'll check the tire pressure right now. God, that was scary. I had a safety patrol, like, right into action. Oh, we got 15 on the money. Oh, so those auto deflators. 15 on the money. That works. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Set that aside. Connect this. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to turn on the... Um, Air compressor for this, so it's gonna get noisy in a minute, but work with us. Here we go, valve's on. Okay. This started at a, I'm gonna see how long it takes on here. I'm gonna have to shut this valve off a couple times during this to check the pressure. So you know, that'll slow it down by a fraction of a second, I'll deduct that. Yeah, we're only at 30. Okay. We got a ways to go. I think the air compressor's on, right? Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab something. Okay. So let me see, we went to 23, 41. So that was two minutes, but, no, not two minutes, not quite. That was one minute and 57 seconds minus three, four, five, eight, nine, seven, 14 seconds. That leaves us with three, four, one minute and 43 seconds. That's how long it took? Yeah. Felt like forever. It did to me too. Okay. <laughs> So what we're gonna do now is uh, set up the regulator. So we'll, we'll video that, obviously. We're gonna set up the regulator, and uh, when we're done with that, then we'll time again. Okay, I'm gonna write this. No regulator, one minute, 43 seconds. So we're gonna put this regulator in line and see, I don't know how to set it, I've never done that. What? I mean, we have one on the air compressor, obviously, but it's different. So here we go. Let's see what we have. Let's see how to do this. We're learning together. So I'm going to drop it down. Oh, that's cool. Only well, takes a little bit, though. I don't know if I'm 
doing this correctly. Maybe I should read some instructions you want me to. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wait. There we go. Look at that. So I have the valve open, and we're at about 60. So we would have to lock this knob down somehow because it takes just very little. So just a tiny bit of turn. I mean, just a little bit on this goes a long way. So I think I have it at 65. So let's air it down and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Uh, so we air it back down. We have the regulator in place. We have the regulator set for 65 PSI. I got my trusty pen. We show off the easy deflator. Hook up the tire. I think it's called an easy deflator. Exactly. And we should already have uh, the air compressor may come on, so this might get noisy. Oh, it's gonna. I know. But um, we're gonna let it rip. Yeah, it shows about 15 pounds. Here we go. Um, It's air. on. It is. Interesting. Let me check and make sure. I'm going to flip it the other way. Yeah, it's on. Okay, not sure what's going on. Maybe you have the regulator out of adjustment. Yes, I did. Okay. So we're going to adjust the regulator. I don't know. We might have to adjust it every time. I don't know how this works. Remember, this is an experiment. But I'm going to crank it up to 65. Let me see it. And we're going to time it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start my time when you get it on. So it's rolling now. It's going. Oh, okay. So let me say one night thing. Start. You gotta watch it, or are you supposed to just, yeah, right? Or is the theory on this you just let it go? The theory is you let it go. We're gonna keep an eye on it. Because of but, what happened. Um, I feel like it is going to be slow because that regulator restricts the airflow. Right. Oh, and we still have to stop but it to... Can, but it is kind of cool. You set to 65 and let it go. So if you're not in a big hurry and you just don't want to sit here and monitor the tires, you could set it to 65 and let so, it do its thing. So the theory you... is we don't have to check it at all. It just stops at 65. Correct. I set it for 65 PSI. What? Okay. That is exciting news to me. I don't care how long it takes. We've spent hours at that park before yeah well the biggest pain is having to bend down and disconnect us and then check the pressure yeah because you um obviously this is what happens to me at least have to try it again we're at 65 now okay so however long that took about the same amount of time right let's see no let's see yeah so my bigger concern is i kept having to play i don't know if i needed to or not but it seemed like it was creeping the pressure so this is a cheapy harbor freight uh, regulator we might try it again later with a different regulator but uh yeah i don't know kind of a fail i mean it's maybe a fail safe in a way because you could set this and even if it's not exactly, at least it's not gonna um, pump your tire up to 135, 40 PSI. Uh, that is not advised. Whoa. Oh shoot, what's it at? That's gonna blow up. <laughs> it's like what might have happened earlier. Oh my God. So, I don't know, that's kind of where we're at with this. I don't know, I'm not gonna fully recommend it yet, but at the same time, it's kind of cool having the radiator on there. But as far as time, it didn't take that much longer. What? How much? 27 seconds. 27 seconds difference to go from, did we go from 15? Yeah, we went from 15 mm -hmm. all the way up. Um, yeah, from one minute and 43 seconds with no regulator to two minutes and 10 seconds with the regulator, by my count. But what I'm getting is I keep setting this where I think it stops at 65, let air out, turn the valve on again, but it goes higher than 65, not a lot. Now it's a few pounds, but 
you know, if you're gonna do this, you want it to be, you want it to work like it should. True. So I think, I feel like it's this regulator, it's not that great. Right. Okay, so for our test, this was kind of a fail. I think it's this regulator, I really do. Um, the air compressor kicked on, you know, adding more PSA on that end, on that part of the system from the compressor to the regulator, which uh, caused this thing to start airing up, and now we're at like 80 pounds, I tell you. So even though I thought I had the regulator set at 65, it went ahead and creeped on up to uh, like 80 pounds. So I don't know. We'll probably try it again with a different regulator, but not in this video. It'll be later. So that's kind of our results. It's still, I mean, still, if you wanted to walk away and not worry about this, like airing up, you know, to whatever the compressor puts out, this would still do the job. So it's not a horrible idea. Um, because the the rig, you know, the reason we created this rig was just uh, just for convenience, so that we can connect two tires, have one uh, one valve right there, a gauge built in, and not have to, you know, hold this on, let it off, grab a, a uh, tire gauge, check the pressure, put the thing back on. We can just leave this connected, turn the valve, check it kind of thing just convenience so anyway thanks for watching bye as always thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed why not please do uh give us some thumbs up if you don't like it you know hit the dislike button two times because you hate it so much um leave us some comments we love hearing from you yeah definitely comments we love the comments we respond to all comments Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you. And I'm going to put a link to our Facebook group below because we want to talk to you and see pictures of what you guys are up to, too. Yeah. Uh, Dandy Off-Road Adventure Seekers Facebook group. Yep. Thank Thanks, you, guys. guys. Bye. Bye.